Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charles Desire, Captain of the Steves, and I'm back at it again. Last part of fishing, because inside of my fishing records, I've completed everything bar the very last page where you've got some of this debris, this flopsam to catch. So, yeah, ossified coral and sea sponge. Apparently I've caught it before, it's greyed out, so probably during the expedition. And there's a couple of that I haven't caught. Now what I'm thinking is maybe I need to do dredging at different depths. You know, maybe this is like the shallows and this is medium to large and these are the colossals. Unsure, but I've taken the bait off the hook because that's the best way that you can go about catching this sort of stuff. And I'm just going to cast in deep, first of all. I'm going to do maybe, I don't know, 20 casts at each level, see if I catch anything. Anyway, I'll reconvene if I catch any sort of um, debris, flotsam, whatever you want to call it. Well, chums, I've caught the sea sponge at 120 youth in depth, a piece of flotsam wrenched from its years of drifting in the water when it became entangled in a fishing law. Very nice. Right, I guess we've got that one. Only a few left to go. It's like Pokemon, isn't it? But without throwing balls and getting sued by Nintendo. <laughs> we got the Tangleweed. I think you can just catch this stuff at any depth. I don't think these play into the whole depth thing. I think this is just random numbers. We can only but hope that I can catch these then and could be here some time. This could be the hardest of things to catch. The things no one wants to catch. Okay. Yelp Strand already had it, but you know, just letting you know I've got another one. Yay me! Yay! Go Kelp Strand! Go, go, go! What the fudge? I'm going mental. And so this is about my 20th cast in here, and I've caught like three bits of flopsam at this depth. Mm, one that I needed, the sponges. The others, not so much. We'll just see what we get on this catch. Then I move to another depth. We'll try there, do a little bit of fishing there. Let's we'll see if we catch any. Come on, be some flotsam. No, you're not flotsam. Dang ya. Okay, right. We're heading this way then. We're going over to my 55 view hole. Yes. hi -ya! Hey, would you look at that? I just got some bleached coral. Now, the thing with that one is the actual hologram of it was actually a large fish. So maybe there is something to it. Maybe this one is a large. OK, well, we've got the bleached coral now. Lovely jubbly. skippity doo da day. OK, I got myself some rusted technology. I've already had this anyway. But that was a medium sized hologram fish, not a small. I've only done dredging in small, so this is all a little bit new to me. We haven't had any messages in bottles yet either. So this technology is then. Okay, I think that's going to break my technology, but we can we can try it. Yeah, it broke it. And it's not very good. Got... Oh, I don't, we've got a big fish hologram here. This is colossal, in fact. What have I got on the line? Oh, my days! Oh, it's a giant ray. Yeah, any fish that I catch, I'm just going to be uh, going into here, and I'm just going to be releasing them all now, I think because they're taking up too much room oh yeah you can only release one fish at a time oh fudge i went reel back in again well that sucks okay yeah that's it's gonna take time isn't it fun got a sea sponge and again the hologram for that was quite large so there we go uh, well, I think I've done probably about 20 at that depth now so let's head on over here let's do another 20 over here and see how we get on up a cha! So this is sort of medium depth now. Message in a bottle. I guess. Let's go send an SOS to the world. Let's have a look what we've got. Unseen. I get it. Here we go. It is 30 days 36 and all is well. I have only lost the ones for company. It is perfect. I will find a way to speak to them. I know it. Okay. That's a bit sinister, isn't it? Ah. Oh. I'm still catching fish with no bait. Makes me laugh. We got some tangleweed. We've already got tangleweed. We don't need tangleweed again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Holy mackerel. I'll tell you what, people. I'm all fished out, I think. Um, I think I'm slightly going a bit bat. SH. You know what I mean? Yeah, a bit bonkers. You know what, Charles? What I might do is I might call it a day with the fishing. I think I've done enough for fishing. And then just as as and when I'm doing fishing, I might catch those other bits of flotsam. Because to be honest, they're just junk materials. 
and I will get them eventually. I don't even know what this one is right here. It looks looks like an abyssal eye. If it is an abyssal eye, I'd imagine it's like super deep, to be fair. I'd imagine that's probably in the deep, deepest of ocean. Coral, you normally find coral near to the shore. So I'd imagine I'm fishing at the right depth at the moment, medium depth for the ocelized coral. I mean, I could stick at it for a little bit longer, but how oh, do I want to? Oh, not really, no. But you know, if I'm building a base by a puddle or by a lake, I could just fish with no bait. And these could be the two things that, you know, are still out there waiting to be caught by the Steve. Anyway, let's, let's see what the last one is here. I think I might end off just on those two bits of flotsam. Okay, mud crab. So I mean, I'm hoping Hello Games do a bit more rebalancing when it comes to what you catch with what, because yeah, I think maybe catching a mud crab without no bait could actually be all right, to be honest. But catching fish with no bait, I don't know. Seems a little bit off to me. But anyways, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. I love this view of all these planets. Look at them all. They're just all just floating off on the distance there. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, actually, thinking about it, I haven't fished my little puddle on this planet yet. And it looks quite lovely. Let's go over there. Let's do a little bit of fishing there before I end off, because I haven't used this yet. Oh, where's my hut gone? Oh, there it is. It is there. So I've got a little hut, a little jetty there. Look, it's got five views. It's just cast into here. I mean, you can see coral in there, so... Ah! Have a char! Have that! Cool. We'll see how we get on. I haven't fished this yet, and with this view... I mean, look at it. It looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. The nice thing about this pond is I didn't make this. This is just made it on its own. And if you cast all the way over there, it's fairly deep. Boom. Well, actually, that's four U's there. It's not deep there. But if I cast over there, I think it goes all the way up to like nine U's or something. Yeah, like 9.8 U's. Pretty nice. So, yeah, I've been a fun fishing this for a while. Yeah. Maybe I'm not all fished out yet, especially when you've got all these planets hanging in the atmosphere like this. And you've got all the different clouds. I mean, I've been in those biodomes for ages. It's boring fishing in those biodomes. But out here, it adds an extra layer of something, doesn't it, at least? We've got one more piece of rusted technology. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this my last cast. Here we go. Wish me luck, people. Is it going to be the coral? Or is it going to be that one that's still shadowed out? No, I don't know what it is at all. Come on! I can't believe I'm willing Flotsam onto the line. Yeah, I don't know why I did it. Maybe they need to put an extra bait in just called dread Dredging Hook or something. It's just a multi-barbed hook that you fire, fluff eye out and it can bring back in a you know, Flotsam. Oh, look, the freaking ocean's on fire. It's cast into the ocean on fire. Boom. That's mental. It's even on fire under the water. That's got to be hot fire. That's a special type of fire to do that, isn't it? I guess. Can you guys see it? Look, it's on fire under the water. Insane. Go on. Ah, I got an ash snail, of course. Anyway, people, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. And um, I will just find nice little fishy cubby holes like this and do a little bit of fishing with no bait. And one day I will catch those, but I'm not going to go out my way to catch them. I think this is going to be the end of my fishing playlist for you guys in the viewer verse. So if you have been watching all this time, thank you very much. Freaking awesome of you. If you haven't already liked, subscribed, please do. Okay, till next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.